Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through uh, how to create a collection on the Pixie Set website. So, uh, in my last video, I talked a little bit about the Pixie Set website and their collections and how you can have albums for your clients. Today, we're going to just walk through the steps you would take to create a collection. It's really simple, really easy. They do a great job of making it easy for us photographers, and I really enjoyed uh, having their website. So, again, I am not sponsored whatsoever by them. Just want to make that clear. But uh, I have enjoyed using their, their site and everything. So let's get right into it. Starting off, we are right in our dashboard. Uh, it's the first window basically that pops up as soon as you log into Pixie Set. So we want to go to Client Gallery, and under Client Gallery, it's a second option. It says Create Collection. And if we just click that, that'll take us right into naming our new collection, setting the date of what the date was of that collection or of that album. So if it was a wedding, say on the first day of the first month, you know, you might put 0101 or however, however you might want to do that. And then you can select if you want to give it a watermark of a watermark that you have. So we're going to say no watermark. As far as a watermark goes, you would want to have no watermark only if you're keeping it private. If you are allowing your collection to be public to anyone who visits your website, you probably want to put a watermark on there just so that your photos can't be stolen. But honestly, it just that's just up to you as a photographer. In this case, I'm just going to select no watermark. Let's title this YouTube and pick today as the date. Let's click create and go from there. So first off, there's a lot of empty screen here. It's very simple though to follow and really the first thing the first thing I like to do is I just like to add all of my photos. So if you click that then you can drag and drop photos or you can just click and browse from the computer. So then as soon as you select a photo that you want to upload, it'll start uploading. You can't upload multiple photos at a time. Uh, it'll generally, you know, if you select 50 photos for instance, it'll start uploading, you know, two, three, maybe four photos at one time, depending on your internet connection. And then once it's done uploading, it will show a green check mark by the photo that is done and all your other photos will continue uploading as it continues on. So let me get a few more photos in this collection and we'll continue on from there. All right, and then once you're done uploading all the photos that you want to, for now at least, you can either go up and if you have more you need to upload, you can click the upload more button here in the top right. Or if you're kind of done with that for now, we can go look at some of our other settings and some of the other things we for sure want to set up. The second thing I always like to set up right away is the cover photo. So if we just want to click up top right again, manage collection, just kind of refresh it, make sure it has all three of those set. We can see now in the top left corner, it has a cover photo selected. That just ends up being your first photo on the reel. Uh, very simple. It's easy enough to change that. So if we click change cover, it'll bring up what we want the cover to look like and what it does look like. So in this case, it is this star trail photo that I got the other night. So here we can see what the cover will look like on a computer screen or what it might look like on your phone screen, like a vertical view. We can also switch through some different settings of what you want the title to look like, whether you want this with a little bit of a boundary, your name up top, just they have lots of different options down here. So this is really getting into more details of your gallery and, and what you want it to look like. So right now we have cover selected, but if we click into gallery, then we can see their sample images and, and what it might look like if we had art images in there. Really, there's just a lot of different options. We're not gonna go through all. We're just getting the basics down on uploading photos and, and just creating a collection as a piece of set website is called. So over here on the left then, so we've, we've gone through design now. Um, let's go ahead and click down to privacy. On privacy is where you can select whether you want it public. Uh, as soon as you publish this, then it will be public for people to click on. They can find it on your website or they can find it on your dashboard, let's say, if you want to call it that. Uh, so in this case, it's visible on the home page. It does not have a password. You can put a password in there if I want to, but I, you know, this is just a test page we're setting up right now. And then client exclusive access, like you can read the subtitle says, has the ability to mark selected photos perfectly private for the client, whoever's looking at those. So that's a great option too if, if you feel that necessary. We're not gonna change any of those. Let's go down to download. And download now is where previously, if the privacy, if, there, if there's no password set, people can still click into it, people can still 
generally speaking, see the photos. That doesn't mean they can download them though. To download photos, then there is this next page right here that we just clicked on. Uh, and the download status is on in this case. So that means it is possible for people to download them only with a pin. People have to have this pin for them to be downloadable. Now if we want them to be completely accessible to whoever wants to download them, we can turn this off, say, I confirm that download pin is not required. Disable pin, there you have. Everyone can download whatever they want of your photos that is in this collection. Now these are specifically just this collection settings. So you're not changing everything for your site, you don't have to be worried about that. Um, I think it's great how they, they are safe with that, how they're careful with that. That's off. Gallery download, just another option on whether, you know, and then single photo download. A uh, lot of settings here that you can go through and, and critique on your own as well. So favorite is really a tab I've not used a lot. So this is just allowing a client to mark what photos are their favorites and such. And then the store, lastly, this is important uh, because these are photos that that if you want your client to be able to download the photos or to be able to more than likely actually get them printed out at a lab or printed out by yourself and ordered photos directly from you, the photographer, to print out, this is where you set up what store, what price sheet they're seeing and, and paying for. So in this case, I just have a Pro DPI Lab Fulfill. So uh, that's one that I've preset, and I can get into that in another video if you guys are interested in that as well. So I have it on, obviously. Um, this way you can also sell your, your own gallery, your own photos too, to the public if you wanted to do that. Um, I think it's a great way to accomplish that. And so then top, let's go up to collection settings. We didn't go through this right at first. We, we, we skimmed through it kind of as we were setting up this collection. It just has some more advanced settings. So uh, status right now is preview, meaning it is not published to the public. It's not on our website yet, which is how we want it for now. You can add tags if you would like to. So in this case, maybe my original photos, uh, YouTube would be a tag and just separate those with commas and then whether or not the collection expires at a certain time which is which is a great option I've not used it but I think it is a great option you can have email registration which will require visitors to enter their email to view the collection as it says right there uh, gallery assistant just to give a tutorial when people are viewing your gallery uh, sharing buttons what what language is in um, and the, the collection URL so this is Obviously, if you have a uh, personal URL that you are using, uh, it's a little bit easier or better to set this up. Otherwise, it's kind of just like a copy and paste and it's not that necessary to have a custom URL. But uh, in this case, it is, it is uh, my website URL forward slash YouTube, I believe, is what it would end up being for this. And so we've gone through two out of the three tabs really that are important. I can hit on more of these settings in the future if need be, if people have more questions. I would be happy to do that. Please let me know in the comments if that is something you guys are looking for or something you guys are wondering about. I can go more in depth with all of these settings. It would be, yeah, very easy to do that. So let me know. Now the third thing that we haven't really done yet is publishing it. So that's kind of what we want to finish it up with once we're happy with how our collection looks. So here are the highlights. And if we click preview, we can see exactly what it will look like to the viewer looking at it. So obviously these stars don't make a great cover. They might catch your eye really quickly, but it's a lot right there. Um, and then scrolling down, you can see what it would look like to someone else viewing it on this screen. And then it's just at open the new tab so we can exit out of it and have everything set. And now we hit publish. So when we click publish, it will just confirm that we're ready to publish it. We're done, we're gonna click publish now. And bam, my collection has been published. So right now, technically, it is live. On our left here, we can see what it would look like if you wanted to email somebody an invite to this collection. I've used this a ton. It really makes your email look a lot more professional, I think. And uh, it just, it really, it looks like it just comes from my regular email address. So I love that. Um, here on the right, we can see what it would look like in their inbox if we wanted to write text here. Here is your collection. It would work out great and you can see what it would kind of look like over here. Now this is a place also that if you have a pin for your photos to download or you have a collection password, you can, down here at the bottom left, it will give you uh, check boxes to check 
if you want those visible on the email or if you don't. And so I think those are great ways. So then you can have the collection password there for people to look at to get into the collection and see it. But then maybe you only want to send that pin to one person or maybe not even any because you're going to sell those photos to them. And so I think it's, it's really great that they have that option. And then you click send invite and boom, you're done. So those are the steps to set up a collection on the Pixie Set website, specifically for photographers. And it's really simple, it's really easy, it's quick. Um, it'll maybe take you five, 10 minutes at most as you're going through those steps, depending on how polished you want it and how custom you want every single one. Otherwise, you can always just, you know, get, set your defaults and it'll be the same for everyone, which can be quick and easy also. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. And yeah. I will see you next time, I guess.